Hey guys, and welcome to Adventure Prone 4x4. Uh, on today's episode, we're going to start work on my younger brother's car. Mort is overseas uh, and has left his car with me to do a little bit of work on while he's gone. So today we're going to do just a quick oil change and an oil filter change. Uh, we're going to change the air filter as well. I'm just going to show you guys how to do that for this particular model car. Uh, in case you were a little unsure or had any questions, you can always pop them in the comments below. So all we're going to do is just change the oil and filters and that's it today. So we have got a couple of things installed for Morgan's car. Uh, while he's gone, we are going to be doing the new lighting. So we've got new spotlights, fog lights, the interior lighting but, uh, behind the dash as well. Uh, we've also got new UHFs, uh, recovery points, things like that, because he's prone to getting stuck very often. But yeah, so we'll get stuck into it now. All we're going to do is just ditch the oil and the sump. Uh, so I'll jump underneath to do that now. The car's been cool for a little while. It's been sitting here for a while. So today we're going to be using Sakura filters, I think that's how you pronounce that. I use these in my car, uh, this particular brand, they've always been great. Um, I buy them off online auto parts, always super quick and efficient with their postage. Um, but like I said, I've been using this brand for a little while now and they've been great, no issues so far. So I would recommend to jump onto online auto parts, have a look, uh, it's a great way to save a little bit of coin. Um, so we're going to do the air filter, the oil filter. Make sure that you check what part, if you're if you doing this on a different car, make sure that you check the parts that you need. Don't go buying the parts that I've got if you have a different car. That would be ridiculous. That's the oil that we're using. We are using engine armor from Valvoline. Uh, we're using 15W40. Uh, with this particular car, we actually need, I think it's about 6.7 litres. So, I do have another bottle of this. Uh, also, I forgot to mention as well, uh, when you do your oil, you should always replace your sump plug and the washer as well. These ones here, you just get them from uh, super cheap. Uh, they've just got a, they've, they've got a smart O-ring. Uh, just helps stop the oil from draining out. Helps keep pressure on as well, so. So I've got my oil pan underneath. Uh, I always recommend as well, when you are doing this, uh, have some cardboard, and I'll tarp something underneath the car. Uh, if you do get an oil spill, the last thing you want is for that to be coming out of your bond, uh, or just to have oil all over your floor anyway. So I always put down, I've got a couple of bits of cardboard down there now. Like I said, an old tarp will work fine, or a new tarp, whatever floats you go. Uh, but just something to protect your floor when you're doing this, just in case. And, and chances are, you will get oil somewhere. So always just good to take that precaution. So the sump itself on this model, right there. That's the sump washer there, so I'm going to get underneath and take that out, and you'll see it pour out. Hopefully I have got that in the right spot. Last time I did one of these, it went everywhere, so fingers crossed, hey? <sighs> so multiple things went wrong there. I'm going to start with the fact that I think I've grabbed my 5, five litre drain pan. Not my seven. Excellent. Uh, we don't have oil all over the floor. Uh, the cardboard did its job. There's probably two patches where there is oil there. Okay, so the other thing that went wrong there was uh, I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. I forgot to throw that in on the original video. So that happened. Just was straight up not having a good time, man. Uh, but other than that, the oil is now draining. I'm going to take off the top filter and we're going to let that drain as well. And I'm going to show you a quick tip uh, for doing this style of filter. So, in the, in the back, that's the style of filter that the ZD30 Navara has. Okay, so that actually sits inside uh, another casing. And underneath that casing, there is a drain pan. So, when you take, when you unscrew the casing, uh, whatever oil is in here, in the top section, is going to flow into this little tray, drip tray. There's a little hose that connects to that tray. Now, on the last ZD30 that I did this to, that tray was blocked uh, really, really badly. It's a major pain in the butt. So, check that that drain pan is actually good to go uh, and not blocked if you do a lot of dirt driving. It actually had a pebble stuck in it, and the pebble was wedged down there like all buggery and I couldn't get it out. Now, I actually had to remove the drain pan, which isn't a big task to do, uh, but the oil drain pan was also full of oil when I had to do that, uh, which made it a little bit of a problem. But just always check, so just run some water into that drip pan first, uh, make sure that it's coming out, and also, actually just 
put some water in there and map out where the oil is going to, to flow down. Uh, if you can't see the tube, you just put some water down, see where it comes out, and put your bucket uh, there so that you can catch it. Otherwise, you're just going to undo it and you're just going to get oil and crap all over the floor, like I have. So, the piece that you guys are going to have to undo is that piece there. So, that is the casing for the filter. So, there's a little notch in here, so I'm just going to put my, uh, I think it's my quarter inch into that. Uh, sorry, not my quarter inch, my half inch drive. And that's just going to break it, and then I'll just twist it by hand for the rest of the way. Uh, we'll take out the filter, and we're going to let all that drip down into the drain pans below. Um, we'll pour some water through before we do that though, just to make sure that I know where to put the bucket. And while we're waiting for all that to drain out, we're just going to change his air filter as well. He does a lot of dirt driving, a lot of gravel, so it's not going to be unlikely to say that that is probably full of dust. Thought I was recording, but I don't think I was, uh, so all you really missed was me uh, unscrewing this. So that is the piece that I'm talking about. Uh, that's where your half inch drive goes for this particular model. Uh, we're just going to take out the filter. So that's the filter there, as you can see. It's all really black and gross and looks to be almost kind of tearing <laughs> uh, tearing apart. It's all very fluffy. Uh, I don't know that he's been carrying out his, his services. Uh, or his oil changes, so hence why we're doing that today. We'll put the new one in there. Uh, we will also replace just your O-ring. We're just going to replace that as well. That actually comes in the kit with uh, with that filter, so that's really handy. So that is the nice new clean one. Just pop that in. Either way, doesn't really matter. So you hear that click. All right, so I've just got to dip my finger in a bit of oil there. I'm just going to run that around the O-ring, just so that when it's going in, it's not going in dry. Just like that, so that new seal has gone in there, that's really easy to do. Uh, I'm going to do this one back up, we will plug up the bottom and put the new oil in. Cool, so I've gone through, I have put the filter back in and I've put the new sump washer, put the new sump washer back in. Um, we are just going to undo the cap on the top and we're going to start pouring our oil in. Now, always, always, always have some kind of funnel. Uh, it is a terrible idea to go doing it freestyle. You will get oil everywhere. Like 70 cents. Use a funnel. Uh, I know I need 6.7 litres, so I'm going to start with the full one. That'll be 5, and then I'll just measure 1.7 on these little markings here. So, and we're just going to pour that in. And I'm actually just going to let that settle as well. I'll go through and clean the little dipstick. Now, while we're waiting for that to fill, uh, or just to settle, uh, we're going to undo that bolt, that bolt. There's one more bolt on the other side. Uh, and then we're going to take out the, the air filter. And we're just going to change that and put the you filter in. Cool. So that's all three bolts out of the way. So that one there is actually not spotless, but it's actually relatively clean. So what we might do is we'll still swap it for the the new Sakura, uh, but we'll actually keep this one as a spare. I'll probably use this. This uses this is the same filter that I use in my model. So uh, cheers, Mort. So that there is the new filter. Uh, pretty in pink, match Morgan's hair. We are just going to pop that one in there. That is just going to go straight back in the way that we found it. Right, so we've put the air filter back in, that was just a case of screwing everything back in and putting the filter in, connecting all the hoses back up. But all I'm going to do now is just put about 1.7 litres of oil from this into that, so that's going to bring us down to about there on the, on the markings. So we'll just pour that in nice and slow. And that should be about right. So what we'll do is we'll let that settle, I'll check our dipstick in a moment's time. 
Cool. So we've finished the oil. Uh, we've finished the air filter. Uh, all the lids and, and, and tops have been put back on place. Uh, we are just going to turn it over, let it run for a little bit, uh, let everything settle in, and then that's job done for the day. So before this video, we had to jump start the car uh, because the car isn't getting used a lot and the battery keeps running flat and then I keep leaving the lights on and that runs the battery flat. Uh, we will have to push it out and jump start it. How good! <laughs> away from the noise. Uh, that's everything done for today. We've done the oil change, we've done the filter as well. The air filter, I will do an oil fil filter at uh, another time. I ran out of time today. Otherwise, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to like, subscribe, uh, hit the little bell button as well. That way, when I put another video up, you guys get a notification. Uh, that helps me out heaps. Any recommendations, any suggestions, what do you want to see me put on our cars? Uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to try, anything you want me to show you how to do, and I'll see what I can do. Any suggestions, any feedback on what I can do to make these videos better? Uh, I, I love to hear everything, so let me know what you guys think, and thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.